Hi, welcome to uh, Sailing and Electronics, where we also talk about the 18650 cells. Today we're gonna build um, the first packs. So I've sorted uh, a lot of cells which I have tested on uh, the capacity, which I have tested on internal resistance and on um, loss of voltage. The batteries, batteries who came out um, okay, we're gonna put in packs today. So you're gonna see that I'm uh, using cells from 1800 milliamp hours till 3000 plus milliamp hours in the same pack. I'm gonna explain how and why I'm, why I'm doing it. The goal of today is to make battery packs like this. Um, this is a uh, 80 cell pack which varies from 1800 till uh, 3000 plus. I'm gonna build it like that uh, because of the amount of cells I have. Um, I will use three rows of 1800s, four rows of 1900s, three rows of 2000s, two rows of 2100s, four rows of 2200s, two rows of 2300s and two rows of 2400 plus. I'm gonna put them also in this order so that um, the ones with the least capacity are on this side and the ones with the highest capacity are on that side. That's done because I'm gonna make the bus bars not like I was intentionally um, gonna use a square but I'm gonna use um, this kind of formation like most of you are also doing uh, I think it's um, the easiest way to make the bus bars because it will only be one wire which is uh, formed like a U and with a connector on this side so I've gone from high to low capacity that means that <clears throat> the connection will be on this side and uh, the U will go like that. So that means that the most amperage is going to be pulled on this side of the pack and the least is going to be pulled on that side. That's why the lower capacity ones are here, the higher capacity ones are there. That also means that my plus side will be on this side of the pack but my minus side will also be here so I will connect them minus plus over here minus plus over here so I will uh, build the packs like that when you would make um, the plus side over here and the minus side over here it would be better to distribute all the cells uh, randomly so the power can go from this side to that side but in my case it will not go from here to here but from here to here from plus to minus so these ones will be um, taken out the least capacity or the least uh, amperage uh, these will be loaded uh, the most I just start with what I have here. These are all uh, 21 plus cells, 2100 plus, and I start putting them in the order I want them to. So these will be three different packs. Uh, 
Then I'm going to take some 2200s. This will take up four rows. As you can see, these are all 2000 cells and I've ordered all my cells in that way so when I want to make the packs it's uh, easy to take them and to put them in the right place. There are three rows. How you want to sort all these cells, that's really up to you. Um, but it's easiest to do when you know around what uh, capacity of cells you have. Um, if you have a lot of, uh, let's say, 2300s, make more rows for 2300s. Um, if you don't have any 2300s, uh, just skip that row and replace it with something else but that's really up to you and up to the collection of cells you have. I've decided to put in also the lower capacity so as you can see all these cells are 2000 plus so these will be 1900 and 1800 cells. Uh, a lot of people don't want to use these because uh, or they have enough cells and they can choose to make um, the packs more powerful um, or they just uh, want to uh, collect enough cells um, so they can skip these but I really want to have um, something up and running within a certain amount of time so I cannot, um, cannot take the luxury to skip the 19 and 1800 cells. So the ones I put in now are all 1900 cells. All the cells they have been tested so as you can see here 1972 that's the milliampere uh, hour which uh, is in this battery capacity then I have 4.15 that's the voltage I have registered once it has been um, uh, recharged and 45 is the milliohms, the internal resistance of the battery. So all these batteries uh, are sorted first on this number and then um, been checked if they stay at uh, this voltage for over two, two to three weeks and um, the internal resistance uh, once it's over 150 I also don't use them. So that's my way of uh, sorting out the cells. So I have one, two, three um, extra battery packs which can be closed so putting on these is rather easy most of the time
just give them a good push so they are really good locked into the holders sometimes it's uh, a little bit harder to push them in so then you just have to push uh, the individual cell a little bit As you can see now, we have one, two, three, four packs ready to be soldered. Um, I'm going to do also the other packs to see uh, which batteries uh, I will need to complete uh, other packs. So um, I'll do it in fast forward so you can see the end result. So we're going to make the other packs as far as we can so I've got some more uh, of these holders ready so what I have to have here is 23 I'm just gonna fast forward this So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full packs. So I could actually start a 12 volt uh, battery bank, but I'm gonna work until I have 14. I'm not quite finished yet, so. There's a six, seven, and from there I have only parts of packs um, which I have, so I have a long way to go. I hope you like this video. If you did so, then please also uh, click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate. Um, in the next episode we will cover uh, the soldering of um, the packs and making the buzz bars. So I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.